next video in today's video i will show you how to scan any type of a qr code without writing any logic for camera we won't be asking any permission for camera as well uh, so there is a new uh, library from google called ml kit uh, ml kit type of library uh, which helps us to uh, scan any type of qr code or barcode so i will quickly show you guys a demo first so here you can see that i have a button and when i click on that button it opens the camera it scans the qr code and it uh, shows it in a form of a toast uh, so yeah and before start starting this first go to your uh, mobile app uh, sorry on your phone not your app on your phone and make sure you have updated google play services from google play store this is very important and the minimum version should be 23.16.3 otherwise this might not work for you uh, the reason is that uh, the library is downloaded from google play services at runtime that's why we require this particular version of google play services so what you have to do is first create a native android project next you have to just add these two dependencies so the first dependency is for code scanner second is for checking whether we already have that available in a inside our devices or not something called a module client next inside android manifest add internet permission as well as you have to add this metadata as well next inside activity main i have just added a button and here inside the main activity we have defined what kind of barcodes we want to uh, scan so i have defined i want to scan all type of barcode and qr code next i have defined a module installed client as well as a scanner then we are initializing both of them and on the button click listener we are checking whether we already have the scanner library in our device or not whether it is already downloaded from play store if yes then click on start scan if no then install the module if there is some kind of failure listener then also install the module so here you can see this is the logic for installing the module so first we have do we want to do module install request and later on we want to install the module if it is successfully already installed then do a start scan else i am not doing anything but yeah you can do some kind of a logic here and on failure listener again i am doing a default install so i think you can do this over here as well so i think this should be over here okay uh, so do a default install and it will automatically install the scanner uh, inside your uh, mobile uh, device and that play services then would be automatically available to you so inside start scan uh, we are just opening that scanner and it automatically scans a barcode and gives us the raw value which i'm just printing otherwise i'm just you know cancel listener failure list i'm just logging out to the console so yeah that's it like this you can ignore like this was just for my own uh, sp uh logic but yeah that's it thank you for watching see you in the next one bye